All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As my video got out that I did with the uh, the Netgear option, I had so many people tell me it won't work. I'm talking about 100 comments. It won't work, it won't work, it won't work. So what I did was I crudely rug it up. See, I'm trying to build a box right now. I'm in the process of building a box and getting it set up. And the reason I wanted to do it, because the guy in the back of the boat right here he likes to see the last go too and i don't have a very big front deck so that's not a possibility but let's go through the i'm going to flip it around i'm going to go through the process of what it did here very simple i'm going to show you it works and i'm going to show you exactly how you know it 100 it works and i'm not trying to pull any uh anything over your eyes so let's go all right this is a gps map 1022 it has zero zero capabilities of anything whatsoever uh it can run navigation but run no sonar without a box so this is a gps map 943 xsv it does not have a, li a live scope hooked to it so what i will show you is we'll go home and it's got side view there's our side view working right there okay that's what's hooked up to it it's hooked up, there's a GT56 right there. That's hooked to that power. So I have not completely rigged this yet, but I run an ethernet cable right here to my, oh, what is that? That's that next Netgear box. This, as you can tell, if you're, if you're anything, you know anything about live scope, there's your, uh, little adapter that turns it into an ethernet there it is the box is powered on as you can see by the flashing lights right here these are covered up by the garmin cable the garmin uh screw on adapters so this is coming from the live scope coming in this one goes to the 943 xsv this one let's follow it comes into the back and it's the only thing in the back Right here, this is a power cord. Let's make sure we look at that. There it is. It goes into the back of one USB. Well, there's the live scope. Functioning just fine. If we need to get out on the water to do this, I will. But also, we can go home. We can go home. And we can go to Sonar. And we'll scroll over to Side View. This is a GPS map 1022. It cannot run Side View. But oh my goodness, it is running side view. So let's go back here. And I know there will still be some more haters. Now with the beautiful new operating system, you can hit that. And there's my perspective mode that's up on the front unit. And here's what I'll do. I'll go back here. And because both of these units are wired together, are they wired together? Let's see here. There we go. If you adjust the the the... the if you adjust the, uh, excuse me, the range, the range adjust on the front and the back. So let's put it at 160 feet, doesn't matter. Let's go back to the back. Look at there, a little bit different setup just because of the way the screen set up, that's 175. So let's adjust it right here. Options, range, it's on 200 feet, excuse me. And I'm gonna go down to, 68 feet just for a weird number we're going to go back to the front and what does that range say 68 so it does work and it works very well i've used it on the water in a test i haven't decided to mount the, where i'm going to mount the net gear box yet i don't actually need this because i'm just going to be linking these two together right now uh, just where the guy in the back of the boat can watch it. I'm going to be using this one right here just for mapping and down and side imaging. But I am going to mount this for testing purposes into a waterproof box and then go ahead and link it through there. Um, I may, The reason I may do it is because I, I may keep the LVS-32 on the shaft and put the LVS-34 on there also. And that way I can switch back and forth. Um, I have been told that you can't run two through the same box i don't know that yet i haven't done the testing on that i just assumed and maybe the assumption was the mother of all mess ups but as i will be mounting this soon that way i can do the lvs 
32 and LVS 34 comparisons pretty easily. Um, uh, may be, be just reaching down there and unhooking one and hooking up another. So we'll see how that goes. But yes, it works. It's powered up good. And as long as I waterproof it good, I mean, if it goes bad, my gosh, I've got 13 chances before. I probably can get 13 of them to last, one of the 13 to last before I hit the price of a Garmin. I don't know. Just guessing. You know. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. And ring the bell.